don't blink it's your boy ink with another video why was a cj no why was San Andreas so important well San Andreas was made by an amazing company which is rockstar let's let's put let's give credit where it's due rockstar does some really good games i think why San Andreas was so love is because of cj we're talking about San Andreas first right because a lot of the point i want to bring up today is a shout out to this series because we just we just finished Red Dead Redemption 2 and although I love the game I wanted to tell my first really big um Rockstar game that I ever played because both made the studio right uh so why do we like uh Los Santos so much well Los Santos is divided by gang and it's your gang and you have to you have to be aware of the gang war you have to be aware of oh there's painting you have to cover up the graffiti that's on on the surface but the belief is your neighborhood it is your neighborhood and yeah sure it's the neighborhood of your gang but at the end of the day the barbershop is the barbershop you're going to be seeing the house of your mom is the house you grew up with you grew up in um the gym next to your house uh it's gonna be the gym that you go to train to right the actual clucky chicken uh, the first bank the first robbery you did you still remember it right the, the scene in itself, I mean, of course, it's a graphic, but it was huge. It was bigger than it was huge, bro. For back, for back, for back in the days, for PS2 games, it was incredible. Um, when I dressed, what I think, what something they did really good was um, when they focus a lot more on those in the character description. But um, I, I think that the, the simple fact that, again, the, the gang, the simple fact that, yo, you cross that line, you might have some enemies. Uh, you're, you're inside that line, people are going to help you. The fact that the fact that the, the, um, the people, the NPCs are directly uh, answering to you. For example, um, let's see, there's a gang member. If they know that you have a lot of notoriety, they're less likely to attack you, and they're more likely to join you in a fight. I think this is what you... I think that felt good because you, you felt the respect. You felt like, oh, I'm going to protect this neighborhood. I want to be, I want this neighborhood to be the greatest. And people are really fucking with that, right? And yeah, of course, it's out of respect. It's out of the gang. But there is still that sentiment of, yo, we're a community. We're coming together, right, to protect each other. I mean, um, <laughs> the number of time I saved an NPC because he was red and green, you know? And then... Um, Sometimes they weren't even gang affiliated, but you're wearing green, you're wearing my colors, right? There, there was still this sentiment of, yo, Los Santos is my home, and I'm gonna make it. So basically, we have to we have to go back. And this is this is why that address to me is insanely good, okay? Again, the character description is gonna be the majority of the video, right? But this is the last one I'm gonna say. Um, we play as this character. Okay, so guess what? Fuck it, we'll include it in character. Why the game is so good is because of CJ. Why CJ Johnson is so good? Well, there's a couple. There's a couple of reasons. Okay, so let's start with the with the actual C.J. Johnson. C.J. Johnson is you by extension, right? And Sandra did it so well because eat too much, get fat. Don't eat enough, get tiny, uh, get skinny. Go to the gym enough, get muscle. Don't go to the gym, lose the muscle. Um, every single step that you take, every single step you take, cause I wanna keep me wide awake, cause I wanna. Um, <laughs> It's super good because you you got this. Um, you, you you can do bike, you can do swimming, you can just run, and it increases your stats. So everything you do in game has a direct uh, impact on your game in itself, right? I think it, it's just so phenomenal. Cause yeah, sure, choosing your haircut, fantastic. Choosing your colors, in fantastic. Choosing the way you character look, amazing. Actually, having to work for this improvement, having to work to get the muscle, having to work body fat off, having to put body mass on, there's there's the sentiment of, okay, well, CJ, you look like shit. This is my fault. I neglected you. I think one of the best game Rockstar made, and you can argue in the comments, I this is my opinion. And we just finish it. It's Red Dead Redemption 2. People go to war for Archer Morgan. Why? Why do people love Archer Morgan? Morgan? Well, we could focus on the story, but that's another, another, another video. Let's just focus on Archer Morgan. It's dirty, gotta clean it. Beard too long, gotta trim it. Air too long, gotta trim it. Um, the way you act with people, the way they thank you, the way they say hi to you, is directly impacted on your um, on your action. 
if you have high honor or low honor, you know, um, we care about Archer Morgan because he is our direct representation. If he looks good, if he does good, if he is well respected, if he's not respected, is a direct reaction of us. So by doing this, Rockstar is implementing the player to play as a game. So they're telling you, hey, listen, if you want your character to be amazing, you have to make it amazing. If you don't, well, guess what? The story's not going to be as good. Right. You can play a playthrough of the, so this is what's amazing about San Andreas. This is what's really incredible. You can play a playthrough and not pay attention to CJ at all. Leave him like he is, not change his clothes, not change his appearance. And yeah, you're gonna have a good time. The story is amazing. Don't get me wrong. But don't get me wrong, but if you if you put time into improving CJ, it feels more real, it feels more like and something that's that has been created for to feel more like to be more um, how can I say that? To be more, um, feel more real, right? More realistic, right? And there's there's a clear understanding that um, it, it is on purpose. It is to for you to be um, acknowledged that CJ is a man. Um, when the betrayal, when your friend group is treating you the way they're treating you, of course, it's narratively speaking, but depending on how much you care about CJ, how much you, you put time into CJ, those reactions are going to be more important. For example, when your friend betrays you, well, I really like CJ, so the fact that this friend betrayed him, he betrays me, my bros, my, uh, I'm going to defend my bros. If somebody betrayed them, they betray me. Now, of course, it's just a game, but again, yes, it's a game, but it's your direct representation, so you, your action directly impacts your storyline. Your impact directly impacts influence everything that's going on in the game right uh, the reason why also it, it was so good San Andreas was because dude it was a universe you could you could fuck around with everything and I remember when GTA 5 came in and people liked it so much because you could invest you could play sports you could do whatever the fuck you wanted right but instead of GTA 5 there's three characters Trevor Michael uh, Trevor Michael and Franklin um a lot of people, they dislike that, they prefer a single character, right? And if you look back at it, if you look at a single character that is the most popular in um, GTA 3 is Carl Johnson. Why? Because again, he's you, right? It's hard. It's hard. So in GTA 5, like I'm not trying to complain, I'm not trying to compare game, I'm not trying to make a point here, but in GTA 5, you got those characters, you got like, oh, well, I really like the way Franklin acts. So I'm gonna just gonna focus on Franklin, right? Well, I really like the way Trevor acts. I'm really, I'm only gonna focus on Trevor and improving the character of Trevor. Or if you're more biased, you like all three. And but if you like all three, your attention span is uh, divided into three. And I don't think it works like that. I just don't think. If you like somebody, you like that person, not like anybody else. And that's why Carl Johnson will go down in history as until the next game, the best GTA character. And this is why San Andreas is so good. I said before, it was making about making this city your own. It's about making sure that CJ feels at home. Because when CJ feels at home, you feel at home. When you feel at home, you continue playing. When you continue playing, the game just gets better. Because you invest time in it. You invest yourself in it. And again, you invest yourself into making the character better. But you also invest a lot of your time in. So you feel compelled. You feel, um, you feel um, intrigued. But what's going to happen? Because you put so much time in. It's like my father. My father spent the whole fucking summer planting seeds, watering them, not knowing what they were going to look like. And at the end of the summer, there's a two weeks where the flowers are beautiful. What does he do it? Because he took care of them. He, he raised them from life to death, from spring to winter, every single year. And this is what Carl Johnson is. And this will play true. You raise him. From the beginning, from the end. What also is cool about Carl is you went away for so long. You came back and your town is turned to shit. So it's up to you to make it better. Because this is your home. No matter where you go, your home never change. As always, it was you big, you, you boy, Invendera. Peace.